All right, from a big fat target to maybe a big fat beneficiary, reports of a $10 billion gift to unions tucked deep inside one of these health care overhaul bills aimed at union retirees. Specifically, the provision would allow the government to help pay for some insurance plans run by big corporations with union workers or outright union insurance plans themselves. Either way, my next guest says it is shameless payback to labor. Katie Packer of the Workplace Fairness Institute says it's all happening on our dime. Um, Katie, where does this stand right now? That's a big thing to have tucked in invisibly. Well, you know, it's just one of the many uh, uh, hidden uh, aspects of the health care bill that they were trying to rush through in a big hurry and get through before the August recess. And I think what we've seen happening is the American people standing up and say, wait a second, we want to take a look a little more closely at this. And it's just a long list of the kind of payback that big labor's been looking for ever since they spent hundreds of millions of dollars to elect their allies to Congress. And uh, we, we're just seeing more and more of this happen every day. So you're seeing from what you've studied, and you've studied this closer than a lot of us, that, that some of these benefits in the health care legislation are skewed toward labor interest. How much do you think? Well, you know, I can't quantify that because there are lots of different bills uh, uh, running around here and on both the House and the Senate side. But we've seen a habit over the last, you know, eight or nine months of big labor looking to the federal government to bail them out of some of the mismanaged pension plans that they've got. Uh, you know, you saw early on with uh, the bailout of General Motors and Chrysler, you saw uh, the UAW get a huge stake in General Motors, and you saw a bailout there. And then with the stimulus plan and restrictions on, on using workers that weren't union workers, and now this, it's just, it, it's just an, another example of the kind of payback that Gerald McEntee from AFSCME was talking about when he said, we worked hard, we spent a lot of money, and we're looking for a payback. Now, their argument in defense of this provision, which is pretty hefty, you know, it's essentially 80 cents of the dollar, is that this is temporary, and then it goes away. You're not so sure. Well, as Milton Friedman once said, there's nothing more permanent than a temporary government program, and so I wouldn't bet on that. All right, and Milton, as far as we know, is not a member of any union. So bottom line, <laughs> looking at all of this, you think whatever final health care reform we're going to get, whether it's watered down or not, is, is going to look after key allies of the president? Well, certainly, if you're uh, counting on uh, Speaker Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Reid to sign off on it, you know, they're going to be looking for something where they can pad the pockets of their friends uh, down the street, you know, the big labor bosses at the SEIU and the AFL-CIO right. that need this kind of bailout or their pension funds are going to collapse. All right. Thank you, Katie.